What's up, though, my cup stars? We're back. I had to do some work. I had to do some important stuff. You see, I had a pen. I, I, was, I was booked and busy on this table. You know what I'm saying? So we been saved and we kind of sent so on up. So now we about to get into this versus us versus them hoes. You know what I'm saying? Them hoes out there. I wonder why we need a different deck. Like a different, different deck. Like one I ain't used in so long. So, but I had to go. Oh, I can use you. Come here, darling. Come here, Brene. Yeah. Then we're going to do an overall energy for you and fire signs. Cancer Leo Cuss. What's the overall energy? I might do it one at a time. Because, you know, it's a different vibe with everybody. It's a vibe all the time. What's this overall energy for Cancer Leo Cuss? Dealing with Aries. Dealing with them big, big boy. Them big boy Aries. Spirit and ancestors. What's that overall energy for them big boys? And it feel like it's like Christmas. It's about to be Christmas in 10 minutes. <laughs> Can't see your cup. I'm just waiting on the first. Y'all know I just want to wish past this whole part of the, the year and get to the good stuff. The new year. You know, the fake new year. The completion of the day. Okay, what's this energy for Cancer Leo Cuss dealing with Aries? Mm -hmm. Everybody's so creative. You got two cards coming out, actually, with you two. You got create and you have explore. That's two carnal signs here. Aries and um, Cancer, two carnal signs. Life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. And it say 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones you did do. Okay? So throw off the, the boldness. Sail away from the safe harbor. Catch the trade winds in your sails. I, you want to know who I think that's for? I think that's for uh, uh, Aries. Shout out to Aries. It seems like it's a it's a Cancer Leo Cups or Water Sign overall here pushing the carnal energy inside of Aries. You know what I'm saying? Telling Aries, like, look, you got to snap the hell out of it. Because you know, Aries is right next to that damn ignorant ass Pisces. Oop. I said what the fuck I said. You know, that that overly emotional Pisces, okay? That that manipulates the hell out of the moon. But I'm going to say that, 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 that push, but it, it, it'll cause a rivalry because Aries don't like to be pushed. They don't like to be demand. They don't like to be controlled. They don't like to be told what to do and all that other goofy stuff even though they need it because they'll stay stuck in limbo for I don't know how long. I'm surprised they ain't the fix time. You know what I'm saying? The high priestess is here. Secrets. Or this is somebody that's getting better with their intuition. Or you can have an Aries out here that's going to see a high priestess. You never know. What's going on with Cancer Leo Cuss dealing with Aries? What's this energy with Aries and Cancer Leo Cuss? Ace of Wands is in reverse. They're blocked. Somebody is blocked. But it feels like someone's choosing to block their cell. This could be somebody sending you something or you sending them something and it's blocked. It, it's unsuccessful. Somebody has been unable to manifest or somebody is being forced into the manifestations. Tell me about the Ace of Wands in reverse here. For Cancer Leo Cuts dealing with the Aries. And look what had came out. Knight of Wands in, uh, the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Wands in reverse. And one of is being pushed, forced to change. Tell me about this Ace of Wands in reverse. It's just like a sister helping a brother out. You know, the emotional cancering is helping out the um, the, the bullheaded or um, the great and powerful Oz Aries with a little smack on her ass from Leo. That's what that is. But it seems like this is them blocking themselves. I really feel like this is a self-inflicted. Tell me about this. Yeah, nine o'clock. They're blocking themselves from their own happiness. 
or someone's blocking themselves from being happy with you because of why? Why are they blocking their happiness? Because of a three of swords in reverse, some type of grieving, some type of pain, some type of getting over a situation, person, place, or a thing. Somebody has to get over something or heal from something that possibly occurred in the past, recovering from this energy. What was the three of swords in reverse about? How did this happen? The six of pentacles is in reverse. It's one-sided. Someone doesn't want to give to the situation. So why they don't want to give? Why is this off balance? So, and it seems like Eight of Pentacles is here. It seems like somebody's not trying to do the work to better themselves. It, or they're trying to do the work all by themselves. This seems like the energy of somebody who wants to be great on their own. They don't want nobody else to say they helped them on a the journey. That's a big ego. That's a big, big toxic ego. And it seems like they hate the fact that you might be the intuitive one and see right through that carnalinian. Carna like they have that dreamer energy, but you got to discover to execute. You got to get the hell up and get the moving if you about to be dreaming. And, and this is someone who needs to create themselves. They're not creating themselves because they're, they're, they're in some type of blockage, a delay, a Something is blocking them from creating. Somebody could be brokenhearted over this relationship or a relationship between you two. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups. They got a lot of options now. What is all of the options that they have? Oh, a world, a new world. Okay, so this isn't this isn't bad. Look, the Queen of Cups is here. This isn't bad. Somebody actually has support. There's somebody has helped them with employment, uh, different opportunities, abundance, stability to open the doors to a new, a new new cycle in their life. So this is someone who is a little bound by some type of fixed energy. They might have a fixed a fixed sign in their chart and that's why the push to a new life is harder but they want to be emotionally fulfilled but they're not this is someone i feel like, i'm not gonna lie this seems like an aries that victimizes itself his or her or them or their or she or, it or him i don't know they kind of victimize themselves they always got something to say they uh, they don't be knowing what they're talking about i don't know i'm frustrated whoever the fuck this is frustrated me my head hurts Tell me what's going on here. Or it's just a new cycle starting. Four of Pentacles is in reverse. Somebody holds back or somebody is letting go. What, what is being let go? The Knight of Swords. Their aggressiveness towards someone. The, the repeated attacks. That's what someone need to do. It, it This is a power struggle. I'm not going to lie. Because the Colonel, the Aries is the leader of the Colonel signs. But the Queen of Cups or the King of Cups. It's the nourishing side of the carnal side. So it might they might come off as the leader due to the mother and father within. But the ego, the arrogancy, and the dominancy of the Aries, it's, this is a clash. I feel like this is a clash. And, and, and I feel like the heartbreak of this is someone's getting over it because they keep trying to get through to somebody that's constantly blocking them. You see what I'm saying? It's like you try to show empathy. Who is this, your child? Who the hell is this? It's like you try to show some type of em empathy and give some type of balance, but one isn't listening, and then you have somebody over here that's opening to starting this new cycle. But I don't know. This is this is crazy to me. Now, the source, stress, worry, fear, anxiety, up all night, nine of wands. This is 99 is here now. It seemed like they didn't been through a lot, but they only didn't been through their own addictions. This is somebody who has part my half. This is not a child or this is some type of a lover. They have a secret of ad addiction for you. Ooh, ain't that crazy? Some type of obsession for you. Yeah, this is somebody who likes you and thinks about you at night. Somebody that's combative. They want to argue. They love to argue. They don't shut the fuck up. They got to be right. They do. This is someone who got to be right. What is this Aries energy 
It's dealing with Cancer Leo Cuss. Tell me more about this Aries Leo. Okay. The Knight of Cups is in reverse. They probably did love bomb you. This is somebody who probably did come towards you. Or they're emotionally manipulative. They actually could be very jealous. Ooh, yeah. That's why they stressed out, because they so jealous. Ooh, this is ugly. They ugly. Tell me about the Knight of Cups in reverse. Why the Knight of Cups is in reverse? Knight of Wands then tried to come out again. They don't like your approach at things. Look at this King of Wands here. This is somebody determined. See, they're determined to win on their own. This is someone that does stuff on their own. They do. Because they, they like. Uh, you're not no match for them. Not in a good, not in a bad way, but in a good way for you. You reason why I say that is. They are competing against you. They seem like someone who wants to compete against you. They want to be more wiser than you. They got better ideas. Their intuition is more higher than yours. There's, it's, it seems like you humbled this part. I think you humbled them many a times, too. Tell me about the King of Wands. The Tower, yeah, you humbled the hell out of them. And knocked them off their high horse, too. Because, you know, the King of Wands, he is self-proclaimed. Y'all done heard this before. This is someone who thinks he's the baddest. He's the, he the darn daughter. Okay? He's a natural born. Naturally, he thinks he runs shit. But he had to be humbled. Only because how he has been going about things has caused destruction, mayhem, and chaos. It seemed like they woke you up out your sleep to talk talk crap because they was determined to win because of what I don't know. I don't know. But the tower has come and blew all of this off of the roof. Somebody probably got a court case, lost in court, something happened. And maybe they got to win. What is the tower about? Now they money messed up. Why is this tower? They're, they're probably watching you, a fool. Okay? It's going to give them an opportunity to take a leap of faith towards happiness, this tower does. But they're going to have to learn that they're going to have to come together with somebody instead of sitting up here trying to act like they can do it all on their own. Because, you know, this is a new beginning. This tower is going to bring a new beginning for this person, and I wish them that well. What else? What else? Look, peace and healing and balance. Look at this. This is Sagittarius. It's going to bring some type of peace and healing. Would you, uh, look at this. Ten of Cups. This is. And a death, because this is going to make someone have a rebirth. They're, it's like they're finally going to get through their head that, okay, uh, cups can help me. They can really help me. They're not out to get me. Aww. And the king of swords, that just how intellectual you are, just how smart you are. This also could be somebody meeting a judge and it going in their favor. You know what I'm saying? Tell me about this king of swords energy. They're confessing the truth. This is somebody confessing the whole truth and nothing but the doggone truth. Come on now. Tell me about the seven of swords in reverse. What is this confession? Period, period. Six of swords moving forward. They want to move forward. Aww. So this is the doggone Aries that you deal with possibly who didn't want to listen, who didn't want to take nothing in you had to say, was defensive, was blocked emotionally, mentally, and physically from you. But through hard work and adversity, now they see that testing your gangster was the last gangster to test, okay? It's not best to have a power struggle with you. It's best to unite with you. And it, it, it leads to a better outcome. Y'all successfully move forward together. They confess everything and successfully move forward together, which, oh, I blame you. That was actually really beautiful. It showed the little trials and tribulations that y'all had, the adversity that y'all had, and how y'all overcame it. Okay, 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 okay. What's going on with Cancer Leo Cubs dealing with a Leo? Cancer Leo Cubs and Leo. What's up with them? Play truth and guidance and protection. Cancer Leo Cubs dealing with Leo. I think I did the Leo reading on the other page already. So I, what was happening with Leo? They had to move. Y'all got Leo's got to move that veil from over their eyes that they do no wrong. 
and uh, accepting accountability is going to make a big difference in their life, honestly. And seeing how the world don't revolve around them. Yeah, it comes from you, Leo. I don't care. Y'all know I don't care, right? Tell me about this ca Cancer Leo Cups dealing with Leo. And, and Cancer Cups, y'all you, you have it a, a way about y'all, too. Cancer Leo Cups dealing with Leo. And we probably got the same side. So I'm going to get another one. Cancer Leo Cups dealing with Leo. That must be your energy, Cancer Leo Cups. I'm assuming. I'm not for sure. The way you make me, make me feel. Oh. Here we go with the Leo. Ooh, judgment. Reserving judgments is a matter of infinite hope. You know what? I can't stand this damn dick sometimes. Because what do you be talking about? What's going on, spirit and ancestors? Spirit and ancestors, spirit and ancestors. Cancer Leo cuss, spirit and ancestors dealing with Leo. And you know what? I think this was like in the Leo reading. Because in the. Oh, shit, man. Down, y'all. Damn, I hope I can finish this reading. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I ain't taking that pain medicine. I, I vow not to take that pain medicine before 4 o'clock. I'll be sitting up there looking at the sky drooling. Like, who made this mess? Oh, but it, it, Leo reading it, ju judgment, it was in reverse. That's why I said refusing to take accountability. So somebody must be serving somebody some type of justice, some type of productive criticism, or giving what they gave. I don't fucking know, y'all. Shit. Readings is getting crazier and crazier to me. I don't be know what the hell going on. No more. And we had the seven of wands. We see each other. <laughs> What's going on with this judgment energy for Cancer Leo? Cuss. Cuss dealing with Leo. Mm -hmm. Our tower is in reverse. This is denial. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Why the tower in reverse? It seems like somebody is in denial of the situation. Scorpio energy. Why the tower in reverse? Six of wands. Try to come out. Look at her. Somebody don't want to believe why is the six of I mean the tower here in reverse here in that justice for Leo dealing with cancer Leo cup. Look. The page of cups. Somebody probably about to call you or you about to call somebody. Dating, flirt, flirting, youth. Somebody is young, somebody is immature. Innocence is here. I just get from him because look how he looking. It looks like he's waiting on a call. That's what it seems like he's doing. He's waiting on somebody to call. You know, here we go with these goofy ass readings, y'all. So why the page of cups here? Why they waiting on this phone call from the tower? That ain't happening. It don't look like it's happening. Or somebody in denial of what the person said. They just ignoring something you said? I don't know. Tell me more. For Cancer Leo Cuss. Dealing with Leo. Yeah, Nine of Swords is here. Tell me more. Yeah, this is in somebody's head. It's like every day go by that you don't contact them. The more serious this feels. Uh, because of the denial that they are in. That they... That, that, it's like they want something that they're not giving. This Six of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands. Look, it's like this equal reciprocity is not given. Queen of Wands is not giving it. So you're stressed about it or they're stressed about it? The cherry. Oh, no, baby. You ain't stressed about shit now. You move forward. <sighs> so 
So, so whoever left who, whoever rejected who, whoever told the other, like, I'm going to head on out. I'm sorry, but this is not what I want. It's now dealing with the fact that this person is moving towards their success and they're proud of it. And look, they move in single too. They're single. So it seems like they're, they're doing this on their own. They're living this glamorous life on their own. What well, going to show up then, Cancer? Tell where the chariot going? Some of y'all ain't got a new car. And that and showing out the nice. Got an old school. Show <gasps> shut up. Just like that old school I seen. It wasn't drop top, but it had the velvet red seats, but it was all white. And it's like a frost green. Y'all ought to be ashamed. These tarot cards is tripping me out. Tell me about this chariot energy, sir. Justice then came out. Why the chariot here? Ooh, the lovers. This is a successful love story. Somebody is going through their head about this. It's something about the way you kiss, the way you touch them, the way you feel, the contact, the safeness, the protectiveness. This person got you feeling woo, shaking your booty. What happened to the lovers? Somebody in their head about this. They dreaming about this at night. Ten of Wands. And you know what they dreaming about? How peaceful it is with you. Or how you dreaming about how peaceful it is. How it shoulda, woulda, coulda. But you just can't allow your boundaries to be crossed. Ooh, give me five. Now that's the love. Like all of this shoulda, woulda, coulda. But baby, you not about to be crossing the boundaries. Okay? Because I need my boundaries. Like, I need that damn water. Look at my daughter for me. Yeah, my baby. Yeah, my baby for me, too. She knew her mom can't be keep getting up, getting me water, my baby. <laughs> Tell me about the Ten of Wands in reverse. The Nine of Cups is in reverse. Not happy. So, it seemed like y'all reunited some kind of way and it feels like all the burdens was released but you're still not happy somebody is still not emotionally fulfilled or somebody let somebody go or somebody's trying to act like they're over the other and they're trying they're they, they not happy that's just nine of cups and nine of cups is a strong scorpio energy out here we got cancer and we have gemini but it's it, it somebody is completely not happy with somebody else moving on and possibly having another love story without them. Somebody has to be released. Somebody has been released. Or somebody has to release their toxic way of thinking. What's this? Tell me more. Cancer, Leo, cuss. My cuss. Dealing with Leo. Tell us more. The Empress is in reverse. Whoa. Why is the Empress in reverse, though? The five of wands is in reverse. Reconciliation. What type of conversation or reconciliation this person wants to have? You part uh Libra Taurus energy here. The Queen of Cups. The death is in reverse. The Queen of Cups is here. Listen, did y'all hear what just what he just said? I don't want to give you the wrong uh impressions but i need love and affection somebody wants to have a conversation with you whoever this libra taurus energy is possibly want to have a conversation with this queen of cups about what i do not know but they do they don't want to fight they don't want to argue they just want to have a conversation they want to express this stuff and it's probably this empress could have found out about you what 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 is this energy about this queen of cups Somebody don't want to express how they really feel. They they think you might take advantage of them. And look what tried to come out of judgment in reverse. Mm. Why is this Queen of Cups here? The devil is in reverse. Because you release somebody. See, the Empress in reverse is someone who will crash out for a mate, a lover, a friend, or whatever. I mean, really on love. She crashes out on love. She's just as toxic and nasty and a bully as the Emperor. She's threesomes, orgies, buy the dude, take care of the dudes, and then it's five of wands here in reverse. That's not going down. 
Okay, the Queen of Cups not having that. This could be an Empress that could be just a masculine energy also. That's sitting up here, that's doing whatever the hell in relationships, friendships, no strings attached, non committal. And then they think they're about to come play with you. And you like, nah, we don't do that over here. You at the wrong house. See, they trying to come back, return to you, but you don't do this over here. And this is someone who also could be realizing they have to give this up. They have to give up this way of life to have someone like you. Other than that, I don't know what the hell, y'all. Capricorn here. What is this uh, devil in reverse about for Leo, Cancer? Listen, at the end of the day, somebody want to talk. Both of your fives is in reverse. Five of Wands in reverse. Five of Swords is in reverse. Somebody wants to conversate, conversate, conversate after the release of a connection. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. So what is the five of swords in reverse they want to have? A fool. Okay, they want to start over. They want to take a leap of faith in a different direction. Somebody possibly could be in love, okay? And things haven't been going according to plan. Uh, the life has taken a turn. They done done some healing work in their life. They have released somebody that they don't want. They they probably went and spent the block on somebody thinking that they wanted, want that person. Then they had that encounter with you and they just like, nah, I think I want to go back to that new chick I messed with. You know what I'm saying? You know how people be thinking they still want their baby mama, but while they out uh, on a break, they meet somebody else. And then that's when hell breaks loose. Because then they go back to the baby mama and they realize how they don't want to be there no more either. And then uh, they go out, try to get their stuff together, build their own happiness. And the baby mama go crazy on them. Six of swords, somebody's finding out that you can move forward without them. You're... The fact that you're able to move forward without a Leo shows a lot. That 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 will that will end some Leo. Some Leos roll in the dirt, baby. If you can move on and, and be over them. Because that's the last thing they think anybody can do is be over them. Tell us about the fool here. But somebody wants to have this conversation of moving forward. Could be the Leo. The sun is here. To moving towards happiness. They want to have that conversation. They want to take a leap forward towards happiness. And that's what the judgment is here about. What's the outcome here for Leo and Cancer Leo Cuss? Leo. The Eight of Cups. A return. Why they who returning? Oh. The Six of Swords and Eight of Swords. Who's returning, Spirit and Ancestors? The Eight of Cups. A Hermit. Virgo energy here. Somebody's coming back from my isolation, look like. I don't even got the earth signs yet, and they all in our business. Cock blocking. <laughs> ten of Cups. They returning for a, a Ten of Cups. They, they, they coming to get married now. Judgment is in reverse. And the Four of Cups. Baby, this person is down bad. They, they can't take this. This is someone who's really hurting about this situation. They can't get it out their mind. I wouldn't be shocked if, like, a chick started talking to them and then they snap on the chick. And then she looking like, what the hell just happened? That's because they got, uh, must be love on the brain. Because how else would a man walk around looking like this at a gathering? It's somebody on their mind. And you know what's on their mind? Whatever the fuck you said, bitch. Whatever you said. And then whatever you said pertains to a family commitment. Because you like, I can do bad all by myself. Okay, 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 okay. One more card here for this Cancer Leo Cuss dealing with Can Leo. Look, oh, the little baby. Leo hurt. Y'all didn't sit up here and hurt Leo. Oh, my God. Well, I don't know what they did, so let me share that. What y'all done did to this person, though? Or did Leo start it? See, Leo love throwing stones in their hands. Leo, y'all are victims. You and Aquarius, your twin signs, y'all are forever victims with a little bit of uh, Virgos. Oh, y'all be irritating the hell out of me. Whatever you said made this mother for the sugar insecure as hell. 
Like you, you, you stripped the power out of them. What did they say, Spirit? What? Who said what? What was said? Something about family and roll out. Queen of Swords is in reverse. Oh, you was cut off with that bitch. You had, you have no. Ooh, ooh, why would y'all do that to somebody? <laughs> Queen of Swords in reverse. Five of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Why would y'all sent them to go recover from from whatever you said? You left their ass out in the cold. You just was like, bye. Like, I'm good. I'm straight. You can get the heck out. I just, I need to know. I just got to know what happened. Judgment is what happened. You, somebody made a decision. You made a decision. I, I don't know. There's so many storylines be going on around the world. I don't know. It's so many. Sometimes, a lot of times, we be thinking it, it's, the, it's this and it's that. And I don't know. I don't know. What happened between Cancer, Leo, Cuss, and Leos? Because this is the lovers partying. Oh. Happily single, living in a moment. A death happened. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform. What's dead is dead. Partying happened. Time with friends, having fun, happily single and living in the moment. A breakup happened, an ending happened, and I guess that's it. It's over with that's all she wrote. Not somebody. But it's unconditional love yet. And I think I think on one side of this, this is what happened to maybe you, Cancer. This the relationship is over, it's dead. You growing up and you moving the hell on and and you hanging out with friends to get over it. But on the other hand, this is a shock attack for somebody. This is probably a sudden change. They didn't expect it, but it's unconditional love. And and, and they want to give it, but if affection needs to be returned. And it hasn't been returned. So, I don't know. I don't know. Really sad. Really, really sad. Because for this amount of heartbreak or heartache, it, it seems like somebody really do like each other. Or this could just be somebody looking in on YouTube's happiness and, and, and coming for you all. But it don't seem like nobody else there but y'all. Yeah. Something is happening. Somebody wants to fix things with the Empress. Empress of uh, Queen of Cups energy. But I don't, I don't, I don't know. Something happened between this couple. Yeah. Damn, that was fucked up. Unexpectedly fucked up. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, now we got Cancer Leo Cuss dealing with a uh, Sagittarius. Oh, I would love to meet me a Sagittarius. I've never met one. But Cancer Leo Cuss dealing with the Sagittarius. 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 Sag. Sagity, Sagity, Sagity. 32 feeling guidance and protection, spirit and ancestors for Cancer. Leo Cuss dealing with Sagittarius. What's the energy like for Cancer Leo Cuss dealing with Sagittarius? Lust. Ooh. Maybe it's best I don't meet with a Sagittarius. <laughs> The Black Prince Ruby Lutch. Lust. Each each of us is born with a box of matches inside us, but we can't strike them all by ourselves. Ooh, baby. Bella, you. Ooh. Let me be me a sad dog. I want to meet because with that kind of energy. That's a ruby too, so that's our energy. So this is an equal energy, a lust. And you know what? It's so funny. I was gonna tell y'all that in the other reading. How this man? It was a Scorpio. We was just talking. We haven't made past the talking page. You wanna know why? Cause he was forever pissed off at the cancer he dealt with previous before me, that he couldn't beat the Sagittarius man that she was dealing with. And I'm like, wait, what? He kept bringing up a Sagittarius. It's like our conversations went straight to astrology, and he kept talking about how uh, Cancers and uh, Scorpio had this undying connection, but Cancers always let Sagittarius come in and mess it up. And I'm like, is that is that true? 
Because only no female Sagittarius. So what is he talking about? You know what I'm saying? I just, I just was like, I got, I got to get away from him. I think I'm a runner. Baby, I ain't no track star. I am in the Olympics. Because I be... I, I'll run to a whole nother state on your ass. <laughs> Scared me good enough. I'm out of here. What's this energy? This lust energy for cancer. Female cuss dealing with Sagittarius. What's this lust energy here about? Ooh, baby. What's this lust energy about? The night of cuss. Ooh, he know how to come bomb you and go. Come on, cancer. Okay, okay. Two of wands moving forward. Nine of pentacles. Ooh, somebody ain't doing the work or somebody getting took off the shelf. Uh-huh. Ten of swords. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold, hold on. Sagittarius. Cancer Leo Cuss dealing with a Sagittarius. Why y'all running around here breaking all of these people's hearts and then want me to read the shit? But I ain't mad at you, man. If it, if it come down to you and your boundaries and these motherfuckers, destroy their heart. Okay, I'm convinced that y'all have successfully become the queen of swords in the readings. It seems like every retrograde, y'all are the queen of swords because y'all just get like whoosh. And y'all have no verbal mercy on these people. Because the two of wands is you're trying to move forward, okay? From people with this nine of pentacles energy that's not giving, okay? Lazy. Don't want to seek balance. Don't want to help. Don't want to contribute. With high demands. That's a betrayal to you. Somebody feel like you betrayed them by not giving and moving forward. So you feel like you've been betrayed. But someone is stuck. Somebody can't get over it. Somebody can't move on. And then that's a fucking betrayal. Because you you gave up. You walked away. You was like, yeah, I'm, I'm not about to argue with you. I'm not about to this. I'm, about to, I'm, not, I'm not. The four sources in reverse. They're restless over this shit. They, they bitter. Okay? They bitter. They mad. They talking crazy. They venting about you. You, you, you dirty rotten scoundrel, you. <laughs> and, and, and see, I just said this too. Like, a lot of people do this and it's lust based. They think this is love. It don't be love. This literally be lust that people be in. Infatuation. It's not no type of love connected to this. Why is this point of source is in reverse? That good, good sex will blow your mind. Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. I told you. They don't want you and you don't want them. I'll have it go, but you want that ass. Okay. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The Eight of Coins working on the, themselves. This is somebody you probably met at work. Or they feel like this relationship not gonna work. Why the eight of coins though? A hermit. This, 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 this between the queen of swords and this hermit, they would not sleep. Somebody is in isolation. Why are they in isolation? They're hiding something. The star, they're not happy, they're not fulfilled. And then it's the king of cups is here. Oh, so this is somebody who's lusting behind the freaking king of cups. Oh. Somebody is in love and they're hurt. So this queen of swords is in love and she's hurt. Uh, but this King of Cups is going on by his way. I don't know what the hell going on here. You rejected somebody or somebody rejected you and you're in isolation because you're not wish fulfilled. This relationship isn't wish fulfillment. Some of y'all is just, you know your value, you know your worth, so you stand to yourself, okay? You didn't gave up hope on this damn situation. I don't know, man. This is crazy. Tell me about the King of Cups. Damn. The tower is in reverse. Could be a Scorpio energy connect. Who the, where the fuck he come from? Cyrus, don't start with me. Cyrus. Justice is going to sleep and that's how it's going to stay. Tell me about your tower in reverse. Ace of Swords. Clarity. I think you accepting the fact that this person is not going to change. This this relationship isn't going to change. 
the narrative for this situation isn't going to change. You're clear on that now. You're accepting it. Yeah. You understand now. You see clearly now. Damn. What else going on? Cancer Leo Clutch dealing with Sagittarius. What's the outcome of this? Because you don't a day. Yeah. This is an ending. Yeah. This relationship has come to an end. It's going to need a rebirth. Or you have just changed. They have changed. Somebody has changed and moved on. You feel like the imbalance is here. They feel like an imbalance here. An injustice has happened. What was the injustice that happened? Your rebirth could be the injustice in someone else's eye. The nine of cups. Yeah. You didn't have the rebirth. So you, you, you're, you know how to be emotionally fulfilled on your own now. So where is it that the lust you used to have... To, for this person, however this goes, them they are there. Uh, the lust you used to have that drew you into this person is it, it? It isn't there no more. You need more. So you choosing you, and that's what these readings have been about: is people choosing them, their boundaries, setting their goals, knowing their worth and their value, instead of letting somebody else validate them. You choosing you has caused the injustice in somebody else's life because they could just been a suck of this. Ooh, and I ooh. Sometimes that good, that good, that good Sally Wacker ain't always meant to be with. Or you better lock in with it. I don't see why. I, I, this is what I don't understand, men, front and center. How is it that y'all run from good punani, go be with something you're not happy with, but constantly cheating with the good punani? I don't get in, and I ain't gonna say I don't get it because a lot of y'all go be with what's stable to y'all, and that has caused a great hindrance in y'all life in the first place. So what is what? Why? Why are y'all doing that kind of stuff? You know that comes karma. The page of shorts is in reverse because once that girl get a glimpse of it and she really, really, because then that's when a woman secretly level up. Yeah, you off balance. Sagittarius is off balance, off scales, unhealed and, and, and great and bitter. Page of swords they, in reverse, they keep talking about it because you know once that woman realized that you full of shit, you be on the curve. As soon as she get her income tax money. And a musician. The four of cups and a musician is here. This has become a missed opportunity. And not only that, this goes into what I just said. You doing that to somebody, you're manifesting a missed opportunity. Yeah, when you sit up there and play those kind of games, you don't even understand. You're subconsciously manifesting a missed opportunity in your life. Child bad. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. This is Empress Watson. I'll see you later.